Hey, so this is for Rapscallion's uh, two wide tileable uh, pulse multiplier. Uh, so I have three of them here, and they are two wide and tileable. They are pretty big uh, and yeah, a little jerky. And this whole section back here, I just have uh, you know uh, uh, input input to you know. This is a, what do you call it, a pulse input. Uh, so, uh, you know, if I pick a 10, then it'll give it a 10, whatever. But anyway, so I have the number set up. The green is set up for 14. Uh, the middle one is set up for 5. And the last one is set up for 9. So we can just say uh, 9 times 3. Uh, 5 times 4, and how about 14 times 10? <clears throat> so 9 times 3, so we have 27. What was it? 5 times 4 is 20. And what did I pick here? 14 times... Uh, I don't know what I picked. 14 times 10? I don't know. Let's see. Ugh, maybe I should have picked something smaller. Okay, yeah. So that's a total of 140. Uh, so yeah, 14 times 10. Okay. But anyway, that is it. Uh, and the the one of the ways that I was able to make this more compact uh, was in your in Rapscallion's version. He used a comparator here, uh, which cut the power from the torch, uh, which I think I have I have something over here that I can use as a reference, yeah. Uh, so he used a comparator here to, you know, so you take the, the signal from the two torches here going through the comparator uh, and your item input uh, will cut that off. Uh, but what I did to make it too wide tileable was I got rid of the comparator and I used torches. So uh, the torch, uh, you know, the two torches at the bottom turn off a torch, uh, and that turns on another torch, which turns off more torches. I mean, it's kind of a chain of torches, but it does the same thing. And that allows me to put my input, uh, so you can see my item counter here, going through these two repeaters, and that comes to this dust. So whenever I input a signal here, that's what starts the counting for, you know, for one item. Uh, but anyway, so that is it.